So I've been seeing a lot of people in the community, especially around Darkon, um, and especially Channel 1, where uh, people are saying like, AoE is dead, we're quitting the game. People are actually legitimately selling all their gear and weapons, which I think is completely ridiculous. Um, just because uh, of the patch notes. Now, if you haven't seen my previous video, go take take go take a look at that. I go over the patch notes in full detail and what's changed with AOE. Now, I've been testing this out. I've been AOEing. I probably put in about 10 to 15 hours of AOEing on top of the new patch updates as an AOE elementalist. Um, here's what here's what I've I've got to say. Um, the changes were definitely uh, uh, noticeable, right? You can't. Um, you can't grab as many mobs as you normally would. Um, you know, that being said, uh, is it any slower? I don't really, I don't really think so. I think that, um, the pace is a, is generally the same if you, you it just requires more legwork, right? Because it's gotten me counting the mobs that I'm pulling. You know, once I hit that 14 mark, I'm aware consciously that I have about 28 seconds to kill the remaining mobs before I start losing them, right? So it, it kind of requires a little bit more work on my end to um, to just mentally take note of that um, of that number. Now that being said, um, that's a hit and run build, right? So I'm a hit and run AOE elementalist. Any other AoE -er, other than Ranger, of course, um, is going to be getting hit constantly, right? So a Knight AoE, a Blade AoE, um, a Bill Poster, uh, any of those other classes are actually getting hit constantly by monsters. So there's really no change at all for AoE unless you're a hit and run, okay? So it's actually just a segregated majority mi minority of people that uh, are just hit and run builds so rangers and aoe elementalists are the only two i can think of uh, of course ringmasters too if you build it that way um but that's a little bit more hard to pull off so we'll exclude that for now you really won't see any changes in aoe and any other class because you're constantly getting hit okay an aoe knight before the patch and an aoe knight after the patch should see literal literally no difference in aoe at all so um, I don't think it's fair to say that AoE is dead. Um, I will say, however, Hit and Run has definitely taken a little bit of a hit, although I think it's still it's still not that big of a deal. Um, so I really don't think it's fair to say that, um, that you know, it, I don't think you should be selling all your gear is what I'm trying to say, unless you sell it to me for super cheap because I need the gear. So thank you for that. It's actually... It's funny because looking at the economy of Fliff recently, it's kind of gone through some ups and downs you might have noticed if you play yourself. And um, it's actually funny right after that patch, uh, all of the AoE elementor, Elementalist uh, gear and weapons have dropped significantly in price. So to those people who are quitting, um, all I have to say is thank you <laughs> for... Uh, for leaving a it, it probably means that you are toxic to begin with um and and b uh <laughs> it's good for for people like me who still want to play and give it a try now I, like i said in my last video these are patches so things will change over time i i've been seeing i think there's less bugs from the day that i started so i'm not sure if um if the developers are like hot patching it um during during the game or whatever but um, I do think uh, it's a step in the right direction. It takes no effort at all to see somebody AoEing uh, right next to you and say, hey man, I'm sorry, uh, you know, I'll move to a different area. It takes no effort at all to do that. And it's appreciated by the person AoEing, of course. And uh, it, it avoids patches like this, where people were stomping over other people's AoEs and, and now we're punished for it. So... That's just how it rolls. Um, that's how the game works. Um, if you guys are interested in, in uh, me doing some more Fliff content, please drop a comment below. Um, I'm going to be doing some guild runs through dungeons. I've never done them. I played Fliff as a kid um, and uh, I loved it, but I never really got to this level of, of gameplay. So we're going to be doing that. We're going to be running it with some friends. If you guys are interested in seeing that kind of content, let me know. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, and and stay tuned and subscribe if you're if you're not already i appreciate it thanks